Welcome, welcome everyone to God in the Midst broadcast. God in the Midst, get them radio. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the Sunday School Lesson Edition, and I am your host, Pastor Mark McCoy of New Harvest E Church in Harvest, Alabama. Praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. It is a day we've never seen before and a day we'll never see again. And as always, we believe it is a day to praise the Lord. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise your holy name. You're so worthy to be praised. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, our Sunday school lesson today comes from Revelation chapter five, Revelation chapter five. So please turn uh, to the end of your Bible. Hallelujah. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you and we praise you for all of your blessings. You've been better to us than we have been to ourselves. You're an awesome God, a wonderful God, a marvelous God, a magnificent God. You're glorious in all your ways, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You've been so good to us, and we just give you praise this morning as we get ready to study your Sunday school lesson. Lord, we just ask you, Lord, to just bless us as only you can. Let this be a word that encourages somebody. Let this be a word that strengthens somebody. We plead your blood right now, dear Heavenly Father over this conference call, over this Facebook Live. We plead your blood, dear Lord, over those that's going to listen to this recording later on YouTube. We plead your blood on their lives. We plead your blood, dear Heavenly Father, over their families. We plead your blood over their homes, their communities, their cities, their towns, their, 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 their counties, their states, their countries. Lord, we plead your blood because we know there's power wonder work and power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Anoint afresh the Heavenly Father as only you can. We love you and we praise you. It's in the mighty and sufficient name of Jesus that we pray. By the power of your Holy Spirit, we say hallelujah and amen. Oh, I am excited about this lesson this morning. And uh, my biggest issue is that uh, I want to preach this thing. <laughs> So I pray that God gives me the power to teach it and not preach it. So we're going to listen to it this morning uh, from the uh, chapter five. Uh, hold on now. Come on now. We're going to listen, listen to it from the King James dramatization on the Bible gateway. And uh, we're going to read the whole entire chapter, chapter five. So let's go to the beginning. Chapter five. And I saw on the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the backside sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof? And no man in heaven nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And I wept much, because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. And what the elders saith unto me, Weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book Hallelujah. and to loose the seven seals thereof. Hallelujah. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb, as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of saints. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue, mm. and people, and nation, yeah. and yeah. has made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. And I beheld, 
Yes. And I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne and the beasts and the elders. And the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000 and yes. thousands of thousands, thousands, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power oh. and riches yes. and wisdom yes. and strength and honor, honor and glory, glory and blessing. And yes. every creature which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth, earth. and such as are in the sea and all oh, that are in yeah. them, heard I Our saying, saying blessing, blessing and honor and, honor and glory. glory. And power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne, and unto the Lamb forever and ever. And the four beasts said, Amen. And the four and twenty elders fell down and worshipped him that liveth forever and ever. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow. The tag we're going to place on this Sunday school lesson this morning is the main event. The main event event. Uh, I don't know about you, but I, I watch a lot of sports and I watch the Super Bowl and the Super Bowl is 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 one of the, the biggest events that, that happens on television and they have all these people looking and, and listening to the football games and, and it's the main event. But we also go and we listen to the 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 uh, uh uh what do they call them the commercials and 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 there's a big buzz over the commercials and everything uh and, and so uh this 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 is is okay it's okay but but that's not the main event the commercials wouldn't have any 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 uh reason to be on if it wasn't for the main event and so here it is with us that 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 in this lesson this morning, there are many ways that that we can praise God. Some some shout praises uh, such as "Thank you, Jesus" and "Hallelujah" and all of that. Others, you know, we wave our hands and and just let's, just 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 put them up in the air. We don't say a word. We just waving our hands while while others get up and they dance and they run around and all of that. All of these are good ways to praise God in the church and wherever you go. Some some praise through song. Others express gratitude and worship through through the arts of, 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 of drawing stuff and all of that. It does not matter how you praise God. The, the thing that matters is that everything that has breath ought to praise him. But the one thing we need to understand that all of this praise that we give God down here, it's just a warm up. Yeah, all of this praise we give God, it's just practice. Worship as we know it, 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 it it's just a dress rehearsal. And it's okay, because we need to practice to get it perfect. But there will come a day when we are finally get to praise God the way he deserves to be praised. There will be no interruptions. That there, there, there will be no distractions. But right now, we just warming up for the main event. Oh, I can't wait till the main event. I, I hear that song ringing in my head when we all get to heaven. What a day of rejoicing. That will be. That's the main event. And so in this uh, fifth chapter of Revelation, we're going to look at the main event. We're going to look at the main event. Yes. And, and, and uh, I, I, I can look at, I, I'm thinking about all of these announcers. Uh, 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 one of the announcers for the, what is this guy? Uh, uh, the boxing. Are you ready? This is our main event. <laughs> and they give that great pronouncement of the main event. And so that's what we're going to look at today. And so as we look at this lesson today, uh, our key concept is Jesus is worthy of our praise and, 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 and we ought to praise him and worship him forever. Our memory verse is verse 12 of chapter 5. Worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power and riches 
and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessings. That's, 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 ooh, that's awesome. Sevenfold, I'll come back to that one later. And so uh, in this lesson, we're going to uh, look at John's picture of Jesus as the lamb who was sacrificed for our sins. Secondly, we're going to look at Jesus is worthy to receive blessings, honor, glory, and power forever. Our, our lesson aim for the day as we look at it is to describe these learning facts to explain the, 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 the expanding number of worship and worshipers in heaven. The biblical principle is to explain why the lamb who was slain is worthy of our worship. And then our daily application we want to take from this lesson is to give our worship to no other than God and the lamb that was slain. So, so as a background for this lesson, as a background for this lesson, you, you know, last week we 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 looked at Revelation four, and, and that's where 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 John's vision of the throne room of heaven occurred. John described this 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 majestic figures, all these majestic figures and and residents, including the beasts who led worship and the elders who bowed in worship. The the the, the, the chapter ended with a song of praise that. The, the the worthiness of the Lord God to receive worship. This is based on, on God being the creator and the sustainer of all things. But now we're looking at chapter five. And chapter five begins with, with John's observation of a new detail. In the hand of God, the one sitting on the throne is an unusual scroll. It's unusual for two reasons. First, it was written on both sides, which is it's not the standard practice. Writing on both sides gives the impression that the scroll overflows with, with important information. Second, the scroll has, has seven seals instead of the usual one seal. The, these seals are affixed by God himself. They cannot be broken only by one who is who has the proper authority. Consequently, a search throughout heaven to, to, with an attempt to find the one worthy to open the scroll. And initially, no one with suitable authority was found. This disappointed John in his vision. And, and we are told that his disappointment moved him to tears. John wants, even needs, to know what the words of the scroll reveal. He understands that this is why he has been granted this access to the throne of heaven. For the scroll will reveal what will take place on earth. Something seems wrong. Even in heaven, John's sadness overwhelms him. But all is not lost. Glory, hallelujah. One, one of the elders from, from, from the group near the throne tells John, stop your weeping. Stop your cry. Stop your weeping. The one who can break the seal and open the scroll and reveal his secret is arriving. This is the conquering lion of Judah. Yeah. Jesus, but he is also the lamb. And his appearance begins our current lesson at verses six through eight. Let's read verses six through eight again. Uh, uh, this time, this time when I read it, uh, I'm going to read it from 
um, I'm going to read verses 6 through 10. I'm going to go all the way because I'm reading from the message Bible. So let me do 6 through 10. It says, so I looked and, and, and there, surrounded by throne, by the thr by thrones, animals and, and elders was a lamb, slaughtered but standing tall. Seven horns he had, seven eyes he had. The, the, the seven spirits of God sent into all the earth. He came to the one sitting on the throne and, 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 and took the scroll from his right hand. The moment he took the scroll, the four animals and the 24 elders fell down and worshiped the lamb. Each had a harp and each had a bowl, a, a golden bowl filled with incense. The prayers of God's holy people and they sang the new song. Worthy, take the scroll, open his seal, slain, paid in blood, and brought men and women, brought them back from all over the earth, brought them back for God. Then you made them a kingdom, a priest of God, priests and kings to rule over the earth. Now, now, I want to read that last part again, just from, from the King James Version. You are worthy, it says, to take the scroll and to open its seal, for you were slain and have redeemed us to God by your blood. Out of every tribe, tongue, and people, and nation, and have made us kings and priests to our God, and we shall reign on earth. Hallelujah. <clears throat> this, 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 this is the lamb that was slain. This is the lamb that was slain. Yes. This is the lamb that was slain. And, and this lamb, it says, he, 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 he was, was, was there with all of these creatures, the 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 beasts, the, the the four beasts, and then the elders, and then here comes this lamb who was slaughtered. Even though he was slaughtered, even though he was damaged. The king, I mean, the, 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 the uh, message Bible says he stand, he, he was slaughtered but standing tall. He stood as a lamb as though he had been slain. And it says he had seven horns, seven eyes, and the seven spirits sent out unto him to all the earth. Wow. Mm. So, so now, so now, you know, you know, you got to go, wait, 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 wait a minute. That's, that's hideous. That's hideous for him to have, to, for him to have seven, seven horns and, 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 and seven eyes. What, why, why, that's, that's, that seems so hideous, but, but it's not, it's, it's not, it's not. See, we got to see this lamb. And John and John gets to see this lamb in the midst of the throne. These four beasts and, and the elders were nothing new to John, but, but at this point in his vision, this figure in the midst of the throne, in the midst of the elders is new to him. And, and, and the newcomer at the center of everything, the focus of heaven and his resident, John describes him. He's the lamb. A lamb is a is a is is is, is a favorite sacrificial animal in, in biblical teaching. And, 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 and then when he, when he sees him, it's almost like when John the Baptist sees Jesus for the first time, he says, Behold the Lamb of God. 
John, John is, is as he's looking, he's, he's puzzled and because he looked so slain, he looked like he just shouldn't even be alive. It throws him off. Because see, these wounds that, that are upon this land, no, no, no living creature should have survived. But the lamb is not dead. And so, so this is, is the way of saying that the lamb has been dead, but is now alive again. Oh, yes. That's, that's talking about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And so then he starts describing the, the, the lamb. What, what, what is the description of, of the lamb? He says, first of all, he's got seven, seven horns, and he's got seven eyes. And, 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 and what we need to understand is that that number seven, that's the symbol of perfection. That's the symbol of completeness. And so, so when you look at the horns, it's saying he's got complete power. And then when you look at the eyes, he, he has, it symbolizes that he has complete divine knowledge. The lamb was perfect and, and had undisputed power. This is not a meek baby Sheep, but, but the mighty conquering lamb of God. Then look at these multitude of eyes, seven eyes. Mm. And those seven eyes that were on the beast, they served up as a witness to everything on earth. But the seven eyes on the lamb also has a personal knowledge of everything. This is because the lamb close ties to the seven spirits of God, which is, which is the book's way of, of, of presenting the Holy Spirit. The fact that, that, that the spirit is sent forth into all the earth and calls to mind Jesus' promise to us. That when he ascended up to heaven, he said, I won't leave you helpless. I, I won't leave you alone. I'm going to send another one just like myself. And that's when he sent the Holy Spirit. This, this, this description of, of the lamb is very artistic and, 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 and it helps us to understand the symbology of it and the spiritual truth. And seven, like I said, is that number of perfection. We, we have here perfected power, those seven horns. Perfected wisdom, the seven eyes. Perfected presence, the seven spirits in all the earth. And, 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 we, and theologians, theologians call these qualities omnipotence omnipresence and, and omnipotence. All three of these are attributes of God. He's, he's omnipresent. He, he, he's always there. He'll never leave us or forsake us. He's, 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 he's omniscient. He, he knows everything and, 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 and he understands everything because all wisdom is in him and then his omnipotence. He's all powerful. He's a sovereign God. Don't nothing happen unless he knows and allows it to happen. And if he allows it to happen, he's got a plan. Oh, I, 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 I got, I got, I got to just, just inject this right here. You, you hear a lot of people say, "Well, everything happens has a reason. God has a reason for it." And many people get mad when you hear that. But I need to let you understand something. Just because you get mad at something don't mean it's not true. You just don't have the wisdom and understanding as of yet. You got to trust God to reveal to you what he has planned. 
Oh, oh, see, see, y'all, 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 y'all say, well, where you getting that from? All I got to mention is Job. Job didn't know what was going on, but God did. And in the end, after all Job went through, God gave him double for his trouble. So let's get back into the lesson. I had, I had to throw that in because I was feeling it. I was feeling somebody. So here it is. Let me raise this question. What did the lamb do with the scroll that was in God's hand? And what took place after the transference of the scroll? Yeah, yeah. The lamb. The one that they said, who can open up this scroll? Who is worthy to open up this scroll? Who is it? And the lamb showed up. And the lamb walked straight up to the throne. And God handed him the scroll. Out of the right hand of God came the scroll. The scroll and its decrees are prepared for the lamb. He, he, he who, who can break, he who can break the seal, he who can break the seal on the scroll, it was given to him. And the transference of the scroll allowed the worship of heaven to resume. But now the four beasts and, and the 24 elders are bowing before the lamb. Wait a minute. Y'all was just bowing before the throne where God sits and now you're bowing before the lamb? This, this, this is not to say uh, that that power has been transferred from the throne to the lamb. No, no, no. The throne has not diminished its power. God is all powerful. Rather, it is a recognition of the Lamb's authority and his unity with the one on the throne. And, 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 and the elders and the beasts and, and all everyone else realize that, that, that he is not robbing. The lamb is not stealing anything from God. The lamb who was slain from the foundation of the earth, he was ready. He was ready. He was ready. And so, after the transfer, new details unfolded before John and I. The elders who had previously cast their crown when, when they fell in worship before the throne now have harps in their hands and, and they, they're they playing music now. They, they, they're playing music now. Before they, they cast out their crowns and threw them at the, the throne, but now they, they got harps in their hands and they're bowing down, worshiping the Lord. And not only that, but they 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 got they got these bowls in their hand, these golden bowls full of incense, and and these this incense is, is representative of the prayers of the saints. Oh, you gotta hear me. These these elders now are, are, are taking our prayers and putting them in the presence of God and putting them in the presence of the Lamb. Oh, hallelujah. And the aroma coming from the incense is also linked to the seven seals. And because the smoke from the incense rises and, and creates a pleasant aroma, incense has become symbolic of prayers rising up to God. And so, 
as he sees all of this. The beast and the 24 elders began to sing. Oh, hallelujah. They began, they began to worship the lamb. And, and in, in their worshiping, they start singing. And, 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 and the beast and the elders are, 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 are not singing an old favorite, but a new song. Oh, they got a new song. Hallelujah. And you go later and you read Revelation chapter 14, verse 3. That there, there it says when the, 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 the 144 who were redeemed, who began, they, they began to sing also a new song. We ought to have a new song on our heart because we got a new revelation of God. The song John heard. Is talking about the worthiness of the lamb. The worthiness of the lamb because he was slain to redeem us. He was slain to redeem us from, from all of our sins. Jesus paid it all and all to him we owe sin and left the crimson stain, but Jesus washed it white as snow. Elders, they, 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 they sung a new song talking about how marvelous and wonderful he is. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Listen to the elders and, and the lamb and, and, the, and the beast. They sing and you're worthy to take the scroll and, and to open his seal for, but you were slain and have redeemed us to God by your blood. Out of every tribe, out of every tongue, out of every people and every nation and have made us kings and priests to, to, to our God and, and will we shall reign forever. Oh, hallelujah. That's why Peter picked that up and said, we are a chosen generation, a peculiar people, a royal priesthood. God has, has, has prepared a place for us. God, through the blood of Jesus, has taken us from being vagabonds and homeless to having a home and a kingdom and becoming a kingdom and a kingdom of priests. Oh, he's worthy, y'all. He's worthy. He's worthy. He was slain. He paid it in his blood. And he's brought us back. He's redeemed us from the penalty of sin. The penalty of sin is that he has redeemed us. He's worthy. Mm -mm -mm. So the lamb that was slain, appears and and then he takes the scroll and, and the elders and the beast begin singing a new song now let's look at verse 11 through 14. The Message Bible reads this way. I, I looked again and I heard a, a company of angels around the throne, the animals or the beast and, and the elders 10,000 times, 10,000 and there were numbers, number after after thousands, after thousands, after thousands in full song. And, and they said, the slain lamb is worthy. Take the power, the wealth, the wisdom, the strength, take the, the horn, the honor and the glory and the blessing. Then I heard every creature in heaven and in earth and then on the earth and see joining in all voices in all places singing to the one on the throne, to the lamb, the blessing, the honor, the glory, the strength for age after age. And the four beasts called out 
Hey, oh yes, amen, oh yes. And the elders fell to their knees and worshiped him. Oh, hallelujah. This is the main event. This is the main event. These, 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 everybody just started praising him. Worthy, 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 worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. All of that is sevenfold. As they begin to, 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 to start this majestic choir proclaiming that, 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 that the mighty call of, of, of this new song that, that seconds that is to acknowledge the worthiness of the lamb that was slain. And therefore, how appropriate it is to worship him. And when we look at this new song, it, it talks about the, the lamb is worthy to receive sevenfold. Listen, let's list this thing. Sevenfold, power, that's ability. Riches, that's wealth. Wisdom is the knowledge of how to use it. Strength, that's might. Honor, that's esteem. Glory, that's splendor. Blessings, that's praise. The, this, this, these attributes include every possible qualification for Jesus's, the Lamb's worthiness. Oh, what a picture! What a picture! I, 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 I could hear, hear what, what it's saying in Philippians. Chapter two, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. Those on the earth and those in the earth and those, everybody is going to claim that he is Lord to the glory of God. Every knee is going to bow. That's what that scripture is saying to us right here. He says, then I heard every one. I, I looked and it was thousand upon thousand and upon thousand of people. And I heard every creature in heaven and in earth, in the underworld and in the sea, joining in all in one voice saying, worthy, worthy is the lamb who was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessings. Oh, you got to hear me today. It is, it is. Where a new song is sung. It's a song that describes that greatness of the Lamb. Not only was he slain, not only can he take the scroll and open it, he was the Lamb who ransomed every tribe and every language and every people and every nation, and he calls them to be kingdoms of priests set apart for God. It's the lamb who is praised by the 24 elders and the four living creatures. It's the lamb who is subject of the angel's choir. It is the lamb who is worthy by every create creature in the universe. All of us who are in Christ one day. We'll get to praise him in heaven. And those, I'm trying to tell somebody something. And those of you who, who, who don't want to be a part of praising him down here, you prefer to go and be with the devil, it's okay. I got something to tell you. If this was the Super Bowl, you're rooting for the losing team. I want to be on the winning team with God. And I'm going to praise him up in heaven. But I need to tell you, even though you wouldn't praise him here on earth and you chose 
to stay with the devil. I got to tell you something. Every knee is going to bow and every tongue is going to confess that he is Lord. It don't matter where you are, whether you in heaven or in hell, you're going to give him some praise because he is the main event. I, I, I just want you to start praising him now. So you ain't got to be in hell and still praising him because you're going to praise him. Whether you praise him now or whether you praise him later because he's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. Oh, what a lesson. What a beautiful, beautiful lesson. This lesson is just like, wow, it's the main event. So as I get ready to close, I want you to ponder these points. Oh, whew, hallelujah. The resurrection of Jesus Christ is, 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 is might. It, he's the conquering lamb of God. That's what's so important about the resurrection. And those, number two, those whom Christ has redeemed are every nation, language, culture, and ethnic group. In other words, God transcends all of this racism and all of this uh, xenophobia and homophobia. God transcends all of that. That's your stuff. God wants everybody to be saved. And, I, and, I, and God says, oh, okay. He said, look, everybody, everybody, and I, I, this is off script. Like I'm just coming straight from God. People ask me a question, it, it's all sin equal. And I looked at them and I said, it don't matter if all sin is equal. What matters is there's one solution to all sin. And that's Jesus Christ, the lamb that was slain. And so he's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. And, and, and we should all join in in giving him praise and worship. He is the lamb that takes away the sins of the world. And he's worthy. Let us pray. Dear Father God, the God of heaven and earth, we thank you for giving us your only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross as a sacrificial lamb to take away the sins of the world. We thank you, God. He's worthy to be praised. Thank you, Lord, for helping us practice how to praise him down here. Because one day, we're going to be part of the main event when he opens up the scroll. And we're going to give him all praise and all glory because he is worthy to be praised. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. For those of you who have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I'm here to tell you, you're on the losing team. And whether you like it or not, you don't want to praise him down here. You're going to praise him when you're down there. If you don't accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to encourage you to accept him today as your Lord and Savior. That you can start practicing praising him, not only with your lips, but also with your life. Please pray this prayer of salvation with me and I promise you, according to God's word, you will be saved. Let us pray. Dear Father God, I confess with my mouth and believe in my heart that Jesus died for my sins and, 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 and that he was buried and that you raised him from the dead. I repent of my sins, Lord. 
Please, Lord, come into my heart and, and forgive me of all of my sins. Thank you, Lord, for your forgiveness. Thank you, Lord, for making me whole. Thank you, Lord. And I will praise you now and forever. Thank you for the power of your Holy Spirit in me to give you praise now, God. You're worthy. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, Facebook, we're going to get off and close this recording. If you want to join us in overtime where we talk about this lesson in the conference call and fellowship with one another, please call 619-639-4733. Again, 619-639-4733. Join us and get them radio conference call. And this is God in the Miss Sunday School lesson with Pastor Mark. Bless you. And remember, always, always be a blessing. Goodbye, Facebook.